All right, welcome to Technique Tuesday. We're gonna do footwork in the dance waltz. So footwork and waltz. So I'm gonna do a box step, the generic simple box step first. We're gonna talk about which part of the foot we use every time we take a step. Different dances, we use different parts of the feet every time we step around, right? So let's say I go from like the leader's perspective first, even though it's the same thing from the followers, just starting at a different point in the box. When I take my first step forward on my left foot here, assuming we already know the box step itself, but you could learn it as I do it, I walk forward on a heel first. So if I use the term heel lead, it means that my heel is the first part of my foot to hit the floor, where the opposite would be obviously if my toe went first and I kind of dip my toe in the water here, I would refer to that as a toe lead. Now I'm gonna say which part of the foot hits the floor every single time half of my foot does. So for example, if I walk forward, I'm gonna say heel, and then I'm gonna say toe, because that's the order of which I take a step. When you walk down the street, you walk down the street, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Not many people walk on their toes the entire time as they walk forward. So we actually wanna walk forward relatively normally, heel, toe. So now when I take a side step in waltz, after I've already gone heel toe, I go just on the toe of my right foot here. So I draw my left foot in, and the ball of my right foot, my heel doesn't come down and touch the floor. So I stay risen here, which rise and fall is another thing we'll talk about in a later video. So I go and my feet come up and collect together, and then I lower toe heel of my left foot and my right heel stays off the floor that entire time. So, so far in summer we have heel toe, just the toe of my right foot, and then I come in close together, toe heel of my left foot. So one more time, I'm gonna go heel toe, toe, toe heel. So now the heel of my right foot is free, so I can now use this foot to go backwards. Here you can see now as I go backwards, I'm gonna go toe heel of my right foot. Obviously my heel is not the first thing to go take a step. I'm going back toe first, then roll into my heel. As I take my side step on my left foot, I do the same thing as the side step when I went forward. Side on just the toe of my left foot here. My feet then close together and I lower toe heel of my right foot. So I do the back half of my box, which would be the first half of a box for a follower. I would go back toe heel side toe, and then close my feet, toe, heel. My left heel is now up because it's free for me to use going into the next half of the box again. So you can see each time that I lower, I bend both knees and I keep the heel up of the free foot that I'm about to use, where if I put both heels down every single time, I kind of end up in between both feet and I'm not really sure which one is free to use next. This is definitely both partners want to do this, but from the follower's perspective, if I always know which foot is free, I'll have a much easier time changing direction every time I do one of these box steps. So one box all the way through, it's gonna be left foot, heel, toe, right foot, toe, left foot, toe, heel. Right foot, toe, heel, left foot, toe, right foot, toe, heel. Heel, toe, 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 heel, toe, heel, toe, toe, heel. And I now have some foot rise in waltz, which is the first step to a strong foundation. I'll see you next time on Technique Tuesday.